It was a tough hotel room to tell the, the kids their season was over and, and especially that the seniors were finished with their careers. Second national tournament, great effort out there. Picture got another All-American. Um, yeah, could get emotional with this. So she told us that the season was over and that we weren't gonna get to play with each other anymore. And I think that was like, the saddest part was just like looking at my other teammates and like knowing that I didn't get to play the sport I love with them anymore. Yellow Jackets are having a heck of a season. When we got news that uh, none of that was gonna happen, obviously there, there was a uh, major, major, major disappointment. Tragedy, maybe not, but doesn't mean there's not a grieving process. I still had that thing in the back of my mind. You're taking your two weeks off and then you're getting back on the mat, you're getting ready for next season. Obviously the only issue with that is there wasn't a next season. I'll go, go back. So we've had a lot of really good teams. In fact, since 1996, every class with the exception of one has gotten to play in the NCAA tournament. This was one of the, the very special ones. Um, they tied the school record for wins and they got robbed of the opportunity to, to break that. I suppose you could say we could have won before that, but 28-2, um, it's pretty impressive tie this one. John Carroll needs a three. Ball tipped away. Scramble for the loose ball. She's not going to get up. On paper, we had the best team in the program's history going into the national tournament. We had three guys seated in the top eight. We had two returning All-Americans. Another two guys seated in the top 12. We had just won the NCAA regional championships. So things, things were going positive. And I give a lot of credit to our seniors for their leadership, their work ethic, their um, competitive spirit, their toughness, their, and especially their willingness to love everybody on the team. We talked about our goals once. We made it clear that we had one love. It was basketball and each other. And if we focus on everyone else beside yourself, good things can happen. It, everyone just bought in. One love is just the statement of our program. We're all one unit. If anybody has a problem, we always come into the locker room, we talk about it. There's never been any gossip. We all just support each other and lean on each other. Jagged Tough mentality, to me, it carried more weight than just in the wrestling room or you know, in the weight room for me. I've kind of carried Jagged Tough mentality through me you know, in all my trials. Not giving up, not letting People put you down, always giving it your all and everything you have, 100% whatever you have to do. We are 28 and 2, so we got to celebrate 28 times. And uh, it's, there's no, I'm getting emotional, there's no feeling like it. No one really gets to experience that. No one gets to celebrate with like 17 of your best friends while your other best friends are sitting right there cheering you on. and. Literally one of the kids in the student section had a speaker, like a giant speaker, and started blaring music as soon as we won. And it was just, it was crazy. It was like a party on our home court. And everyone was just so supportive. The BWS community was just like our best friends in that moment. It was amazing. Your OAC tournament champions, as well as regular season champions, your Baldwin Wallace, Yellow Jackets, and the student section is coming on the floor to celebrate. They're gonna cut down the nets once again here. You know, I want to make sure that I'm not that guy who had his last season taken from him at the end. I want to make sure that I'm that guy who, you know, led a good four years of being a positive impact on the others around him. Uh, 
you know, now I get to work on the legacy that I leave after I'm out of college, which is, you know, how many people can I help achieve their dreams at college? Just never take for granted, you know, the people you have around you, you know, the relationships you make. When I got that news, my family wasn't there yet. Realized, wow, like I'm not gonna have my family here to go through this with. And I said, wait a second. You know, I looked around and I had, you know, my teammates there, my coaches, and I was like, I'm gonna be just fine. I mean, you know, I'm very thankful for Baldwin Wallace University and the relationships I've made, and um, they're gonna carry a lifetime for me. So don't take those people for granted. Don't take those relationships for granted and cherish them. Wrestling doesn't define who you are. I'm still thankful for my health, my friend's health, my family's health, and understanding that it's a lot bigger than wrestling, and there was nothing we could have done that could have changed this. You can begin to see how uh, uh, close-knitted and dedicated this program is, uh, but I think with this program, it's, it's really easy to see the network of support that's been built. I can't, I mean, I, I honestly can't think of a better, uh, of better company to be in for a tragedy to happen, so. I think as I go forward in life, um, it's important to have pride in everything you do. If you don't like the situation you're in, change it. My wish for all BW athletes, enjoy the ride. Every minute of it, because it goes so fast. And you'll spend the rest of your life thinking back on how great it was. To last year's seniors, um, whose season, postseason was cut short, you didn't have the opportunity to compete. Uh, that's a loss, and I know you feel that. But please, be proud of all that you accomplished during your time here at BW. The country might not have had the chance to declare you champions, but I'm telling you right now, and I know your coaches share the same feeling, you are champions here at this university. So be proud, be proud.